none shall pass. At least, I had never passed muster with my parents. But then I'd passed the doors of Hogwarts and started immediately to see. Maybe their prejudice, rage, and bigotry was not true of all wizards. It was going to be an interesting path. And I joined Slytherin. Now it was time to slither in to the common room. Just want that, ah, of course. Click the character you wish, Yorkie. That's you. Yorkie York, I can make a I can make joke as a child. Find your way to the common room. It seems to be over there. In the meantime, is there anything in here? In, my, in the dormitory? It seems not. At least. Not that I may access. Revelio. No. No, we shall just... No, that's just uh, lines. Oh, it's glowing for a moment. Well, <laughs> let us go. I suppose some introductions are in order. Slytherin. Must be different starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. I wonder where they're from. They're lucky they didn't end up as dragon food, like that poor man from the ministry. Did you see the way they just waltzed in at the end of the sorting ceremony last night? I'd been rather I occupied for school. school this late. A little room, everyone. Let them through. <laughs> as they said, that is not helpful. I'd already seen not all wizards were of the same ilk. The sky of stars. Can I help you? You may be able to. Oh, you're the new fifth year. Yes. I'm Sebastian Sallo. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Sebastian. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. I didn't have it all the Professor way. Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. It was a terrifying situation, but also... Professor Fig and I learning. were lucky to escape with our lives. Indeed. And how did you escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. I believe it. Can you give me examples, though? Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Intriguing. I had not learned that in my youth. Then again, I had learned precious little. Hmm. An astrolabe. Uh, might want to think that again. Timer. Wizard chess? Oh yes, I knew of that. And now it's playing itself. Hmm. Or advertising itself. Revelio. Nothing in here that's a secret, it seems. Ominous Gaunt, who are you? I... I think I heard one. Hmm. 
Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. I would say so. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Did you suspect you'd be in Slytherin? Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Yeah, I know the feeling. My parents were not Slytherin, had a similar stance. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout mm. for hours. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. The fact that he hates the bigotry, too. I wouldn't like him. do that if I were you. Sweet. If you do that, you'll lose. Trust me. We have a chess. Ah, you two are playing with a two chess. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Yes. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. Hmm. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. We handled it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. Perhaps. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Things to know about wizard chess. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else <laughs> see it? Do you fly a lot? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Well, farewell. Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. Very well. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor yeah. Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. By which stairs? Those stairs. Madam Scribner doesn't tolerate anything. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. 
spell book. Who is ages of playing away. I'm not quite sure that's useful. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Wouldn't you give me one whose pages didn't Thank disappear? You, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Very well. This way. Oh. Okay. I was trapped on the grand staircase for an hour the other day. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Do keep up. Why don't you cast Revelio on that stage Revelio. and see what details the field guide can provide? Kelpie statue, guide pages. The statue that depicts a Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon, native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. Unlock field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears there. Field guide challenges. The only way to acquire experience points are XP. Ah. Your wizarding level XP earned from your from challenges increases your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the uh, challenges menu to continue. Selecting your first guide page unlocks a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select the field guide page. Collect two field guide pages in Hogwarts. One or two. Gear appearance reward and Hogwarts regalia spectacles. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete. From appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed from the challenge menu. Come back often to re collect rewards you have unlocked. Very well. Clever, isn't it? <laughs> Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Whether in the tree or exit. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Well. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Discover the blue flames, fast travel point. You can open the map at any time. At the A M open map. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live. and includes the house, common rooms, and the Great Hall. Select the gra uh, Grand Staircase. Continue. In this view, you can see the uh, flue flames available in that region. Green flue flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house, common room. Grey flue flames indicate the location of undiscovered uh, flue flames. Very well. The right side of the map is where you'll discover academic points of interest. 
including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Collect the library. The next region. Continue. Professor Weasley has unlocked. Ah, yes, one. The central hall, blue flames. Use A and D to rotate to the map and fast travel. There we are. Grand Hall. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. I should say, having tried the combat yesterday, you can get almost anywhere in the castle. I have increased from, from easy Hall. to normal mode. I'll continue to assess as we go. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Not the best idea. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Tell me about the Charms class, Professor. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. I must say I was interested in the defense against the dark arts. After all I've been through with my parents, they didn't use dark spells, but still. Can you tell me more about the defense against the dark arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. And um, what is Hogsmeade? I've not been allowed to learn of this. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain mm. and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. Very well. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor. You've been very helpful. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. Mm -hmm. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. Well, My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. I assume so too. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, yes. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's <laughs> path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. Of course, and Professor. invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. More yes, worrying. Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Shall 
he seemed a good person. But that she was following up on my progress like that? Worrying. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, oh, she well, knows we are. Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. I've Understood, seen the Professor. Headmaster. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, mm. why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? All right. Unfold it and have a look. Main quests, completing main quests. We'll uh, further the story, unlocking new features and grants XP. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. And in these cases, you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Against the Dark Arts Classroom. She holds Professor Haggart's class. Oh, excuse me. Or is it this purple here? No, oh, that's me. Or oh, Tracker Quest, I see. Hang on. It. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Yes. Thank you. Now, sounds no, like going. you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Ten defense against the dark. Quest completed. Welcome to Hogwarts. Charmed compass. New item. That's charmed compass V. Ah, leading spell. What is over there? I can't even cast loom on. There's something in there. I just Nora. know it. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you learned anything about it? I thought paintings uh, often had their subjects walk out. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. And there are other paintings like this here. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Perhaps I'll have a look. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. 
I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Revelio. Oh, that's not Lumos. I believe. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Well, I have a classroom to go to. There's also this thing here. Oh. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Oh, there's a butterfly there. I keep getting Ellie's not Lumos. Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Is Lower Hawksville still being in that Why are there pages flying around that I can do nothing with? <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. And a field guide page. I'm doing so. Lenora? Oh. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? It wasn't hard. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. But you didn't. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Mm. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Plus plus fifteen hit points. I'm gaining a level. Right, I believe I need to get to class. I'd like to retire to Hogwarts one day. Open a pub. Four future Hogwarts pupils with tales of my childhood. Ah, I no longer have it selected, do I? Anything else out here? Revelio. Cat. Beautiful Siamese cat. Have a chest here. Mm -hmm. Infantry. We have nothing at the moment. Very well. Locked against me, I guess. Well, 
That must be protection. Is that all you've got? Yeah. Oh, Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. <laughs> it was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. It seemingly took to the down wise, the dragon. age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Mm -hmm. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Given my restricted access to the Wizarding World, I did not know what an unspeakable was or why she would be unspeakable. I failed, okay. Why is this? Ah, do I have to keep my wand inside? Should have done it. Why is it not? I, is it because I'm holding down the... No, it's the red that's chasing me. I am too slow. Now I see. I'm slow, sir. I see. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, Levioso. Good. Well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel. Indeed. Only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Protego should be Levioso. <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky about it. Levioso. Stupid Protego. Let's just say all my students for this adaptation. Not bad for a beginner. Indeed. You give as good as you get. Indeed. I've learned to. That's why I seek power without it, you're nothing. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. 
I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. I agree. It. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Good. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. You drooled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. No, oh, I saw something up here. I do not have anything to open that. Lumos. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Revelio. I see just the lock and things beyond it. I cannot get there and I cannot get the paper. Very well. Feeling nice a little work. bruised. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first it was. duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Tell me. Sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether yes. it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. Restricted you section? You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Yes. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. I will. I have some things next going time. on right now. Well. Fence against Dark Arts class completed. Holy Charms class. That's nothing that I need to do. Oh, it's downstairs. One thing I will comment on is that um, they've learned from a number of other games. They still slow walk you when you're walking with someone, but at least they keep you to the same pace, unlike a lot of games. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Very Hello, friendly. I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? I guess I have now. <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? No. Anyone? 
Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> Not on me. Bit, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well... It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. It didn't... Ah, I need to keep it moving. Got it. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I've seen that I already. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough He's of good. that. Well, good. as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. If she's good, then I need to know her. Anyone who can bring me power. I don't care about houses. They're not relevant to I've me. always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of the throwing game. the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. One of the many games I was not allowed to learn. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I ah, could keep talking about theory, but that's it! Stay focused! Ah, I think I have to let go with it for as well. Splendid! Don't Whoa. lose your composure! Very good. Too much again. Not too worry. Very good. Points to Slytherin. What? But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. Keeping it on the board was a challenge. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. Use Akio from the ball as close as you can. And so edge without going over in order. Oh, thanks. Yes! Akio! <laughs> Excellent! What's this? Brilliant! Let us 
Fifty. That is how it's done. Akio. Uh, happens to the best of us. She is good. Better than me at the moment, anyway. Let us make then this no a bit today. more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. There we go. Akio. Too far, my far. Watch this. I do not mind losing to her. Skillful witch. Very good, both of you. Well done. On my first go. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. And you shouldn't. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Mm. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Courageous. Not intimidated, I like her. Is Wagadu a castle, like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Fascinating. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone mm. at Wagadu uses one. It's incredible. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without a wand. I would imagine wand. so. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Thank you. I must keep in touch with her. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, 
I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use... A word, accurate. if you would. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms <coughs> lesson lived up to expectation. I had none. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. <coughs> one often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. Why? <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Asleep. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Sounds like a bit of an idiot, to be honest. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Side quests are now available. Available side quests can be found inside the regions of Hogwarts as well uh, as marked and discovered exploring the world. Very well, uh, that's not a side quest. And we'll deal with Professor Weasley first. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Yes. Hello. You wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Yes, I should not have come through here. Ah, downstairs. What do you wish, Professor? What about the room, Professor? I was thinking ah, the same uh, thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Okay, I'll mix it. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. Yes, I am. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. 
isn't there. Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? Yes. That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. Of course. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Very well. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier. Yes. We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Good. What well, can you tell me about the potion shop? Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Why? Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Very well. What is spellcraft? I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring mm. objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Very well. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'd heard of the Ollivanders in Diagon Alley, even though I'd never been. We're two magical parents, how could I not? Never heard of any others. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Hmm. Both of them could be very useful to ally with. But I think I want to see Sebastian in the illicit dueling class. So, what about Natty? I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. I shall look forward to it. Cheetah display cap. Uh, calico, we have a. Ah, there you are. I am indeed, Professor. What do you have for me? You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed, I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that the mending charm Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. I've seen it. Huh. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. 
See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Well, what's the purpose of the tasks? Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Understood. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Understood. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Collect five flying pages near the broken statue. Collect the flying page. This is the right area. I right. wonder where the flying page is. Well, there's one there for the start. I wonder how I get it. Actio. Actio. Got it. Of course. It seems we're not through there. What's this? Revelio. There's something there. I don't see what. Oh, that's not right. Lumos. Nope. I guess we will find out about that some other time. Uh, let's put the Lumos out. A flying page must be around here somewhere. If only a new student would help me with my sad predicament. Yeah. If only. Next, downstairs. I trust the preliminary tasks. I completed the assignments, Professor. I thought I had Marvelous. to get more pages than that. You clearly well. know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now! Wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Perfect. Mending charm repair all can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate Repero. and lashed out. Nice. Quest completed. You're done with me. Well, that, my friends, is where we shall leave it for today. Next time, we shall return with a trip to Hogsmeade with a friend. Very well.